What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, AB. Now check this out, listen, if you guys been following me for a minute, you know what I like to say. I like to say, listen, you're simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking, right? I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to make a loaded chicken potato casserole. Super easy. And you know what, with me saying that, come on here and look at these ingredients right now. Look, you gotta, look, when you say loaded potato, you know, you automatically think about the bacon, right? For those of you guys that don't do the pork, you know what, you can get yourself some turkey bacon or something like that, right? But we got bacon, we got green onions, cause we gonna put that over the top. You gotta have cheese, right? And then you gotta have the stars, right? That'll be the potatoes. And then right here, I got the chicken breast, right? And these are my seasonings. Hey, and as always, listen, all of the ingredients with the, all of the amounts will be down in the description box below. Now with that being said, let's cook. Okay, so look, I wanna show you guys these Branch of Vine products, right? Look, these are the infused olive oils. And this one right here, this is the garlic, right? I'm gonna be using this because what I wanna do is I wanna like level up, right? So I'm gonna use the olive oil along with my seasonings and put that on the chicken. And that right there is gonna go ahead and marinate, marinate together and that's what's gonna make some flavor, right? And look, this is what I'm gonna be using, right? This is not a 13 by nine. I cannot find this dish because I would like to put it in there, you know, and link it so you guys, because I get so many comments about it. Hey, it's kind of like one of my favorite uh, dishes. Okay, so look, what I'm getting ready to do right now is just cube my chicken, right? Now will be a good time for me to tell you guys you wanna preheat your oven to 400 degrees. That right there is key. You want everything ready, because listen, I'm doing a lot of talking, but if you're making this at home, you're talking about this meal should be inside of your oven probably in about like 20 minutes. Not even, hey, listen, if you season, you should have this in there about 15 minutes. Okay, so look, real simple. You just wanna cut these into about a one inch, you know, cubes, right? So if I cut it there, look, that's fine right there. We're gonna go ahead and just, you know, cut them. I'm gonna do this right here so you guys don't have to like just be bored watching me do this. But we'll just go like this. And that right there is what you're looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of this. You're gonna need about a pound and a half. You know what, it'll take up to two pounds, but about a pound and a half would do it. Okay, so look, I really wanna, you know, touch bases on this. You want them to be as close to the same size as possible, right? I got it, some gonna be, you know, a little bit smaller, but you want them to be as much close as possible. Meaning, and the reason why is when you go ahead and you cut these, I mean, when you cook them, you want everything to be ready about the same time, you know? So that's the rest, that's the reasoning behind that. You guys can see, look, I got myself a big enough bowl. I got my chicken that's already cubed down. I'm gonna set this off to the side. I'm gonna get everything cleaned up and then what I'm gonna do now is just peel my potatoes. So just give me one second and I'll be right back. I'm mean, sure you guys didn't wanna watch me peel no potatoes, right? So I got my water, you know, to keep them from browning, right? So what I'm gonna do now, check this part out right here. Now I'm just gonna cut these down, right? I want these to be about the same size, you know, as my chicken, right? So we'll just go like this. Actually, let me do it this way so it'll be a lot safer. I'll just take one of these just to show you guys. Look, here, if it's the center part, like how I'm doing here, this right here is a nice size. Listen, we want everything to be ready at the same time, right? So I'm gonna take these and just put them right there. All I'm doing is, I'm just quartering it, that's all. This is what you're gonna come up with, right? These, I'm liking the size, this is just about right. Now it's time to let's start building some flavor. Again, I showed you guys that I'm gonna be using, you know, this uh, infused garlic olive oil, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and just add, you know, about three tablespoons, you know what I mean? Oops, about three tablespoons, and just get everything coated. Right off the back, with the chicken and the potato, right? As Soon as it hits it, I don't know what it does, but it kicks back some aroma. That right there tell you, you doing something right, right there. I'm gonna start with my pepper. So I'm gonna just start grinding this on here. I'm gonna grind this until I feel like you know, until my wrist is tired, I'll just say that. So, we'll just keep going like this. I'm gonna do it a couple of more times, but this right now is just my base coat, right? And then for me, I'm gonna go ahead and just give it, you know, a couple of generous pinches of salt, right? Now, when we come with our seasonings, look, I'm gonna use about half right now, right? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mix it and let it tumble. And what we're doing is letting it transfer, but I wanna see some of the bottom pieces work its way up over towards the top. You know what I mean? Cause we are gonna do another round of pepper, salt, and the rest of our ingredients. Just for me doing that on the top, as you mix this around, 
you can see that it coats and starts transferring the seasonings and everything onto all of the pieces, right? But we're not done. The infused olive oil is what did it. But look, we want to just add some seasoning. That right there is, is so, I'm going to say so underrated. You know what I mean? A lot of us, we cook, you know, heavy with it. That's fine, but then there's a lot of us that don't really add enough seasoning to our food. And then we try to figure out why, you know, certain things don't taste like they do when you eat it at certain people's house. And the reason I say a house, because I'll tell you like this, a lot of times you go to the restaurant, they don't over season or they don't season enough. It's not over seasoning. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just give it my last two pinches of uh, salt. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in our dish. We're gonna go into the oven for about, about 40 minutes or until our chicken is done really. Get yourself some non-stick spray, right? You don't have to spray a whole lot, you know what I mean? But we're just gonna go like that, because you know why? We got uh, olive oil on there, you know what I mean? That's gonna help it. Now, we just finna take our dish, right? And we just finna go ahead and add this to it. There ain't no secret way to do none of this. You just wanna do it. You wanna make sure it fills up everything. I'm not even getting ready to cover this. I'm talking about super simple, especially for all my beginners. I can smell the aroma, and I can tell you this right here is gonna be real nice. Once we put that bacon on the top, hit it with that you know, green onion and that cheese. Mm. I got my meat thermometer right here. Look, I just went ahead and checked it. Everything is good. It's really right at temp right now, so I'm getting ready to take it out. But look, you wanna just like multitask, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start cutting my green onions now. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do my bacon. As you can see, I've already made that. And the reason I'm using a lot of this, because you'll see in just one second, we're gonna put some green onion on the top. And then we're gonna put, you know, I'm gonna put that underneath the cheese, right? And then I'm gonna put a little bit on top, you know, for the garnish after it comes back out. You can see where I, I cut my bacon. I mean, I done my bacon, right? You really can almost like crumble it up. It's not quite that way, but I'm gonna still go ahead and use my knife. You know, you can hear it. You just wanna be able to get your bacon bits, you know, the way you want them. This right here is fine for me. Whew, look at that right there. Now that right there, mm, man, just the aroma that it gives off. So I can tell you now, when you season right, this is what you come up with. You can see it on every piece in there. You can see the chicken. You can see, look, look at all of the seasoning and flavor on top of, of the potatoes. And then don't forget, we leveled it up with that branch and vine, that infused olive oil. We use that garlic. Hey, rosemary works. I'm going to go ahead and expose uh, everybody to that branch and vine products. Listen. They got so many infused olive oils. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just a whole lot. Look, I don't want to ramble. What I'm going to do right now is, look, we're just going to take a little bit of this green onion, right? I'm just going to go ahead and just give it a, just, just a little bit. Because look, we're going back into the oven if I hadn't said that already, right? And then when you put it back in the oven, when you put heat on top of, you know, something green, it'll kind of like wither, you know what I mean? It won't look quite the best, but I cut up enough. That's cool like that, right? Now I'm going to go ahead and come with my bacon. You know, oh, now now you know why we called it loaded, right? You tell me, is it loaded? Is it not? Let me know down in the comment section, in the comment section below, right? Look at that right there. Your mouth should be watering, cause mine is as I'm talking. Now I'm gonna come with a little cheese just to protect it a little bit over the top, cause we want this to melt. Now listen, we kept it at 400 degrees. We only going back for five minutes. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna be honest with you, I want you guys to stand in front of your oven and keep an eye on it. Cause you know what? We don't want to make this look dark or nothing like that. This right here is what I'm talking about. Now check this out. I left this much right here because I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more over the top. You know what I mean? But this right here, I wanted to go ahead and, you know, do his thing. Hey, and I want you guys to notice these too. Check out these pot holders. And if you had noticed already, look at my apron right here. Hey, listen, these are coming soon. I know it's a shameless plug, but check this out. This is going back. Don't forget, five minutes. We just want to melt the cheese. All right, there we are once again. Now you guys look at that. If that don't make your mouth water, look at the way that cheese melted, that's just right. And this is an example of when I tell you guys, stay there, look at it, and stay on top of it, you know, on top of your uh, oven so that you don't like burn it or, you don't really burn it, you could just make your cheese turn a different color, right? So for me, I'm just gonna add a little bit more because I like to just put a little bit over here on the top. I like mine with a little bacon, you know what I mean? And when I say a little bacon, you know what I mean. Hey, so you guys come on in here and take a look at this right now. 
you know what it looks so good it's like a work of art i don't even want to like mess with it right you see i got this bowl i'm not even gonna take no whole big piece you know what i mean i'm just gonna get it you know do it like this and now I'll just put it in here oh yeah probably should have got myself a spoon but anyway i'm just gonna take this right here now it's time to go ahead and do a taste test mm -hmm. cheers y'all i'm gonna start with a piece of this chicken Get that. Mm. This is hot and it's fire. Now that there is fire. Now, I want to say this part. Listen, most of Everything that I make on this channel, listen, you guys can put your own spin on it. This right here is just like the basics to get you into the game, right? I can barely think, man, because my mouth is just exploding. There's not no whole lot of, you know, stuff in there. I mean, when you look, when you think about the ingredients, it's like just super simple. But it's a few things I would have put in this, you know what I mean, just to level it up. And I ate that without, ate that, you know, and I tested it without putting no sour cream so I could just taste it. But you can put some sour cream on it and treat it just like it's a uh, baked potato. Hey, let me take this time to say, hey, Matthew, the pit boss out there at Morongo Casino. Hey, check it out, bro. Hey, thanks for hooking me up, man. Hey, we there, bro. With that being said, you guys try this. You know what I mean? Let me know what you guys would do down in the comment section below. I'm interested to read what would you add to this to send this even much, much more over the top, right? But I can tell you this, if you guys ain't got yourself none of that branch and vine, you know what I mean, them infused olive oils, hey, you missing out, bro. So if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and I want you guys to tell everybody out there, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.